Right guys, uh, session three, um, and today what we're going to be looking at is detailing, um, and that will be on walls and windows. So it's a nice simple one today, but it has to be done um, in order to make it more realistic for us. So I'm going to open up my floor planner and go back to the to the thing I created in session two, which was the ground floor. Um, now if you take a little look today, um, it doesn't look an awful lot different from the top. But when I click on 3D, you'll see what I've started to do. Um, and it's three things. The, uh, the first thing was to start adding brickwork so that it makes it look a lot more realistic. Um, the second thing I've started to do is to paint the inside walls, which you'll see there. And then the third thing I've started doing is adding some blinds to the windows there and curtains and the reason I've done that is because it makes it look a lot more realistic with regards to the shadowing so if you take a little look where the dog is there and you can see the curtain there and if you'll see the shadow becomes more realistic that that's what we'd expect in a normal house um, it is a little bit time-consuming however the results um, are worth it in the end by the time that you finish it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of of some of the stuff that I've put in in order to show you exactly what I did. So I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of my blinds. Okay, and what I'll be able to do is show you how you can do brickwork on my remaining walls. Okay, so taking a little look then, first of all, I'll do brickwork. Um, now I've done the back of the house and the side of the house and I've also done the window at the front um, so I'll be looking at these walls here all around the porch now I'll start on this one here okay so I need to select in be not the window either side of the window which would be the brickwork now it tends to be that material one is the outside and material two is the inside. So I'm gonna click on material one, and if that's the outside of the wall, I need brick. So if I click on materials there and type in brickwork, and press enter, and it hasn't done it. So I'll go back to, uh, there we go, brickwork. And you can see that I've got some, some options here. Okay, so if I click on, I'll just show you again, materials, the third one is brick, so as I go down, I'm going to choose that one there, because that's what I've used for the rest of the house. Then if I click on 3D and check as it's just worked, yeah, and it's the same as um, I've done before. Now if you do get it wrong and put the wrong brick in, don't worry about it, you can go back and change it after. So again, material one. Choose me brickwork again. I've got another wall there that's going to need changing to brick. And a wall here that's going to need again changing to brick. And I'll do the porch in a different, a different style of brick, I think. So let's take a little look what we've got at the minute. I'm on 3D now. It's just missed a little spot there, if you can have a look. So I'll see if I can just grab that. It might be there. No, it's not. Okay. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. That's the little bit I wanted. Materials. So that's right. I'm going to do my porch in a slightly different colour brick. Then I'll perhaps do uh, a darker brick, I think. So if I choose, first of all, I'll do my front wall. And I'll choose materials, brick weight there. And I'll go for that. Stone wall. 
see how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll go for that again. Material one. Stone wall. And again for that wall there. Material one. Stone wall again. And then when I take a look in 3D, I should be able to see now that the whole of my house is as it should be. Okay, so that's brickwork done. Now on the inside, um, and if you look, I'll, I'll do the, um, the toilet, I think. So if you take a little look in the toilet there, you'll see that the walls are white. So I think we'll go for a blue for a toilet. So we've done material one, which is the outside of the wall. So it's material two there at the top. Next, just under where it says brickwork, material two, where I can choose a color. So I'm going to go material two, um, and I'm going to choose paint, and I'll choose a bluey colour. So if I click along, and I'm going to choose, there we go, holiday blues. That looks quite nice. So I'll choose that. And again, if I click on that wall there, material two, I'm going to find it again, holiday blues click there, material 2, holiday blues, and again, material 2, paint, that's not quite the right one at the minute, there you go, holiday blues. So that means that when I click on 3D, you can see now, oh, that one hasn't, that must be material one, that side of that wall, so I'll just go and change that in a second. But I've got a few colours in there that make it look quite nice. So that will be material one for that. There we go. Okay, lovely right the other thing that I think we need in the bathroom just to make, make it a bit more private is a blind so I'm gonna search for a blind and I go back to um, to me um, to me chair there at the top to add in furniture I'm gonna search for all categories 3d this time I'm gonna go blind and we'll go for that, a slatty blind. Um, now, the width of that window there is 118 when I click on it, 118. So I'll go back to my blind, put in a blind, and you can see it's smaller than the window at this point. The width of the window is 118, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to make the width of the blind 118. is absolutely perfect for the size of the window and then when I drag it there click on 3d again you'll see that I've managed to put a blind in and then I can start painting the the rest of the house so if you remember that was material 2 wasn't it the inside of that um, and I'm gonna do this right across and I'll do this that colour and again there material 2 there we go and when I go on to 3D I can be able to see that I could I'd be able to start to paint the walls so material 2 some of them might change um, depending on the way the wall was created so the inside might be material one or it might be material two you'll just have to have a play about with that um, in order to get it right okay now curtains in the back room quite easy 
So if we go to the chair again, click curtains, curtains, there we go, and nice and easy this one. I can drag that in. And if, if I drag it in, I can drag it into there. Um, what I'll need to do is to, if you remember on session one, we used duplicate. So I'll duplicate that and then drag it again to the other side. The problem is now, if I go on 3D, the curtains will both be facing the same way, which isn't right. So that one needs to be flipped. So I'll click back on it, back on the curtain. And if we take a look, we'll see, we'll be able to see flip somewhere. There we go, flip. So if we click on that, flip it over. That looks about right. Um, and again, I'm going to put some some blinds in the front roof again. So blinds. And if you remember, um, I think we'll go for some some like this now, plain blinds or Roman blinds. Roman blinds, I think. So the width of that is 118. So I'll drag my blind in, the Roman blind. I've got to make the width of that. 118 which will then allow me to put it there this one's moving in so slightly there you go um, the width of this window here uh, this one here sorry is again 118 so I can just duplicate this blind and then drag it over machine and then finally the width of this window here is 79 so I'm going to duplicate that but I need to make the width of that a lot smaller and I'll just click in and type in 79 because it'll be easier I'm going up and down with the slider click on it again and I'm just going to use my cursor buttons on my keyboard just to get it absolutely right. So if we take a little look now at that, where my blinds are in. And I've got some blinds in there. They're not quite right at the minute. We just want raising from the floor again. So I'll raise that to about 180. as well and then finally that one here just to raise those blinds away from the windows okay well, that's looking pretty smart so it's about now getting some more color on the walls get some curtains or some blinds up in the kitchen somewhere um, and then we can move on to the next task, um, which is going to be starting to look at the outside of the house, and we'll do that um, in the next session. So today, it's all about getting your um, surfaces right on your details, so your walls, your blinds, your curtains, um, and get as much paint on the walls as you can over the next uh, over the next couple of hours when you're doing this. Enjoy it.